Peace and love, family. It's Con One. Um, I wanted to talk about um the revolution, the paradigm shift, cleaning the house. Um, that's my main overall topic of life: getting back to nature. And what do we think of when we're when we think of in tune with the times and what's going on? We think of racial issues, police brutality, you know, the unjust justice system, stuff like that. You know, the government, think of politics like Trump and, and Clinton, shit like that. That's the surface, that's the mainstream issues, you know, like domestic violence, stuff like that. That's the mainstream issues. But what is the what is the root of all that? You know, what is the what is the root that folks ain't been addressing and folks ain't been facing? And, and really, the the media don't want to talk about. They want to keep us dwelling in the branch of everything on the outside instead of looking within. What is the inner issue that you know? If we face it from the root, then we could solve it. You know, and, and reverse it. What is it? Well, it's really health. Because we have mental health issues. Um, you know what I'm saying? Partaking in all this, this, this self-destruction. And when I say we, I mean all ethnicities. The Caucasian white folks or whatever you want to call them. You know, for me seeing my family members, they're still addicted to the, the GMOs and the acidic based foods and still believing in these political lies and the propaganda wolf tickets on the TV still feeding into you know all that um thinking there's nothing wrong with it which is a sickness it's not natural that's not you know a certain type of ethnicity's nature that's a programming it's not right you know um McDonald's and everything on every corner um being like being like the go-to spot fast food for the fast life it's like people when I say people I mean we like we don't want to make a, a, a shift in and be willing to change up how we eat and how we think and how we do things because of the addiction to the systems program and, and, and it's like that is the reason why people are looking at other people in an unhealthy way talking down on others is, is illness you know not sharing the love they'd rather talk down and talk shit and and all that and you know it's a right and a wrong way and some people's definition of what's wrong is is what others consider right and vice versa but we all got to get on one page, on one note as a collective consciousness. You feel me? This truck needs to let me over, man. Yes. But, um, I just, I, I, I just, I recognize that, you know, it's deeper than just the race. Not saying that's not an issue, but if we look at, if we look at the problems, like what really is the leading cause of deaths, in America, you know what I'm saying? Look at the statistics and the charts. It's like five, ten thousand people killed, more or less killed by um, any type of gunshots, homicide, suicide, drive-by, um, police shootings, whatever. You know all that. Then when it comes to um, pharmaceutical deaths. You know, eating the wrong foods, like eating unnatural foods, having unnatural um, effects like heart attacks, cancer, strokes, and all that. Then we're talking about hundreds of thousands. And what's the top of the list is abortions. So, I mean, but that stuff don't be getting protests on the, you know, on the big thing. They don't, be, you know, folks ain't talking about stop the GMOs. Not saying some people don't, but that's not a big issue to, to most so-called revolution revolutionaries and um you know and it's affecting all people 
it's affecting all races, you know, shit, shit is not meant for any ethnic human's body to be consuming flor fluorinated water or genetically modified foods, breathing in these chemtrails, um, learning this fake history, um, catering to a wolf ticket in school, you know what I'm saying, like, all, the, all this is is really enslaving all people, all humanity, 99% of us, unless you're in that billionaire um, club that, that's like the ones that's on the other side of the strings, that's the puppet tears, you know, we all got strings on our back, even these rich, um, these, these doctors and lawyers and shit like that, they're indoctrinated too, shit, you, you don't think they would, um, take some medicine or some shit you think they'll go and 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 cure with with sea moss and herbs and shit hell no they get six figures or whatever and they um you know they live in a white suburban neighborhood and they still put some unnatural shit in their body because they've been programmed too you know will the police and, and will the system attack those with more carbon or melanin in the skin than those that look like me? Yes, I'm not saying they won't. I'm not saying that's not a reality. I'm not colorblind, I can see. I grew up, you know, in a neighborhood where I was the only so-called white dude or one of the few. So I could see what's been going on, which is a big reasoning for my stance, and my empathy, my understanding of what's, what's happening, but at the same time, it's like, it's a lot deeper than just what they provoke us to focus on, you know, in the mainstream and on the surface, you know, like people should, should really start caring more about the land, nature, you know, all that instead of the football games, um, the Jordans, all this bullshit, all the distractions. But then they hear me and they, they I don't want to hear that, man. Fuck what you talking about. Like when I was in class, I was in my materials and methods. In the very first chapter, we opened up the book. It was, it was about sustainable um, living. And I was so passionate. I'm like, yes, that's what I'm all about. Listen, man, I'm ready to learn. And I was like one of the only few people. Everybody else was like, man, whatever. Like, who cares? And it, it's sad, you know. It's sad because... Man, we are, as a collective, we are um, the inhabitants of this earth. And we gotta, we gotta, we're responsible. You know what I'm saying? Because we gotta um, stop shooting ourselves in the foot and stop spiraling down. We got to, man. We self-destructing. Like, we, we catering to the pollution and to our downfall collectively, individually, but individually creates collectively because if everybody's individually doing it then that means everybody's collectively doing it too so it's, it's real imbalance and it's real a lot of unnaturalness going on and it's just got to stop man real talk so we got to clean house make this paradigm shift it's got to be cool to, to think smart healthy positive uplifting natural thoughts and eat natural foods you know what i'm saying that's cool. Not not on some trendy shit, but like some life changing, you know, really apply that knowledge and, and, and really be about that. And, and whenever you have children, if you have children, get them on that too. You know what I'm saying? Universal, unconditional love, man, real talk and balance. You know, according to universal laws and principles. Part light as a feather. You know what I'm saying? Con one signing out, man. I'ma holler at y'all in a little bit. But let's get right, man. Real talk. I love y'all. Peace.